You see, Moses, Moses wrote the first five books of Genesis to Deuteronomy of the Old Testament, but this is put in brackets because Moses didn't write this. Somebody else added it there. Just by the way, Moses was the humblest man on the face of the earth. Some, God inspired somebody else to add that sentence there. But this man who was the humblest man on the face of the earth at that time, one day when God told him, you know, when the people were asking for water in Numbers chapter 20, and um, the people cried out for water, we, had, we don't have any water to drink, Numbers 20 verse 5. And they went to God and God said to Moses, verse 8, take the rod and speak to the rock. Moses, remember 40 years ago in Exodus 17, I told you to hit the rock and the water came out. If I were to paraphrase God's words. But that rock being hit is a picture of Christ being crucified and he does not have to be crucified a second time. So this time when the water, you don't hit it. Because Christ has not got to be crucified a second time. Speak to it. And the water will come. Verse 8, Numbers 20, verse 8. And the water will come. But Moses said, I am the man whom God has blessed. He was proud. See, people fall into sin only when they are proud. Moses took the rod and he lost his temper. And he said in verse 10, you rebels, are we going to bring water out of the rock? What do you mean we? Look at the word. Did you see that word? Shall we? <laughs> As if Moses can bring water out of the rock. Amazing how we think that just because God used you to bless somebody, you say, we, we are the ones who blessed so-and-so. Garbage. I want to tell you, my brother, sister, you can bless nobody. Even if you're the most spiritual man on the face of the earth, only God blesses. But this humblest man, Moses, began to think, we, I, and the man who is blessed. It can happen to you. These things are written for our instruction. And instead of speaking to the rock, it says he lifted up his hand, verse 11, and struck the rock not just once but twice. Does God bless disobedience to his word? This is a very big question. Here you see, did the water come out or not? What do you say? Yes. Why? Because God loved those two million people. In spite of the disobedience of his servant, God blessed those people. People ask me the question, women are not supposed to teach God's word. What about all these women who preach on television? Does God bless their word? Here's the answer. She may disobey God's word, but God loves the people and he blesses them. But like God dealt with Moses later on, he will deal with that woman for doing what the Bible tells her not to do. A woman is not called to teach God's word. It's a position of authority. She can testify, she can share her testimony, share what she's received from the God's word, but the moment she begins to teach, she's going into territory God has forbidden. But does God bless such people? Sure. What about all these crooked preachers who are making money from poor people preaching the prosperity gospel, making millions for themselves? Does God bless what they preach? Yes. Here's the proof. Disobedient servants of God are blessed because God loves the people. The 100,000 people sitting there listening to them, are blessed. God loves them. But he'll deal with the servant later on and all these people who disobey God's word, one day at the judgment seat of Christ, he'll, he'll deal with them when they say, Lord, we did so many things in your name. We preached, we did this. And he said, depart from me. I don't even know you. Here Moses as soon as he disobeyed, okay, the water came out because God loved the people. But then Moses, the Lord said immediately to Moses, Moses, 40 years, you were waiting, waiting, waiting to enter the promised land. You're punished. You will not enter the promised land. Verse 12. That was the biggest blow. If God had said to him, you'll get leprosy, that would have been much better. He gave him the greatest punishment that he could ever get. You will not enter the promised land. Yeah, that's what happens to humble people when they become proud. They miss out on 